Begin by removing the front engine cover, red arrow, and the two air ducts, yellow arrow. Please see our article and video on engine cover removal for additional assistance by following the link at the end of this video. You will need to remove the underbody engine trays to access the compressor as indicated by the red arrow. Please see our article and video on under tray removal for further instructions by following the link at the end of this video. Remove the drive belt by placing a 17mm socket on the tensioner and turning it counterclockwise until you can slip the belt off the motor, red arrow. If you are reinstalling the belt, make sure to mark the direction of rotation before removing. Use care not to pinch your fingers between the belt and tensioner. This photo can be used to install the belt after the job. You can see where the belt travels around the alternator, red arrow, power steering pump, green arrow, and the AC compressor, yellow arrow. There are three bolts that hold the compressor to the engine and its mount. The two front bolts go into the mount at an upward angle, red and yellow arrows. You will need to decide whether it is easier for you to remove the bolts working from above or below. Please note a lot of components have been removed for photographic purposes only. You do not need to remove anything other than what is described in this video. The lower mounting bolt can be accessed from below, red arrow, but there is not a lot of room between it and the sway bar, so you will have to take your time. You can access the rear AC compressor mounting bolt by using a E12 socket with a wobbler or a universal and slip it between the tie rod boot and the power steering lines, red arrow. The wiring clip sits on the compressor. Use care when working with it as it can break very easily. Red arrow. Disconnect the wiring and slide the wiring back out of the compressor. With the refrigerant properly and safely evacuated from the system, you can use a T45 torque and separate the two lines. Make sure to suction and properly cap the open lines. When installing the new compressor, make sure to lubricate the O-rings with compressor oil before installing. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.